Here we go. This is Jen Moore with BellaReviews.com here at Sea Otter Classic 2010. And I'm here with Fabio with BMC Bikes. How are you doing today, I'm Fabio? doing great, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And we're here today to talk about the biggest breaking news in BMC Bikes this year, a move to the USA. Yeah, we're really, really excited about it. We've had a great relationship with our previous distributor, which was QBP. Uh, we've reached an agreement with them so that we can free up their warehouse space, start our own warehouse, and start selling directly early. So originally we were planning on leaving July 1st. We've agreed, because everything's going so smoothly, to leave May 1st. So about another two and a half weeks, BMC USA is going to be completely operational and independent. And uh, we're very excited about that. Any particular shops that we can be looking for the bikes to be hosted in? Uh, I think the best thing to do would be to visit our dealer website. Uh, we've been welcomed with open arms by the U.S. retailers, and uh, we've more than doubled our, our existing dealer base. So Excellent. And what does that mean for the consumer? What is the best advantage of that move? Uh, the best advantage for that move is that product is going to come into the U.S. sooner. Uh, the retail price has dropped because it's now BMC selling the product directly. And uh, we also have uh, really been selective with our dealer base. So people who are carrying BMC product are going to fit our business model and our business line and understand the product very well. Outstanding. So let's go and take a look at this, uh, the BMC team machine. For those who don't know, tell us what BMC stands for because I think this always gives everyone a little chuckle. BMC stands for Bicycle Manufacturing Company. <laughs> I love that. So let's take a little tour through the team machine. All right, well this here is our new team machine. It's uh, introduced new for 2010. Uh, it's a full carbon frame. Uh, full carbon meaning even the cable guides are carbon, the dropouts are carbon. Uh, what we have here is an oversized frame starting at the head tube, going all the way down. It tapers from an inch and a quarter at the bottom of the head tube, the steerer tube to an inch and an eighth at the top. We have a multi-shape, multi-dimensional down tube, which flares out as wide as the bottom bracket goes. It's really, what we're looking at here is, is excellent power transfer, excellent rigidity. The bike goes where you point it. Uh, and what we've done to counter the rigidity in the power transfer of the frame is we have made extremely, extremely thin seat stays here. Uh, and if you look at it closely, you can see there's a carbon weave in there. And we use a special 3K weave in the seat stays. You can see that same weave in the seat posts. That is called our tune compliance concept. So we basically have been able to make a super high-end, super lightweight, uh, race-ready, efficient bike that is also extremely comfortable by putting a certain amount of carbon in the right areas. So we've really tuned the ride, and it's uh, currently the bike of choice for Cadell Evans uh, and George Hincapi and uh, select other riders on the BMC racing team. Excellent. And do you have a general MSRP that we can be looking at price point? We do. Suggested retail for this particular bike, which is the frame, fork, headset, and seat post, is $3,500. And one of the coolest features I can show you, although it looks like, sorry, although it looks like it's an integrated seat post mast, it looks as if it's all one piece coming all the way up to the seat. What you're actually looking at here is a small turn, 90 degrees with an Allen key, and your seat post comes right out. So what happens here? It allows us, because there's no crushing force on the frame, to use a much thinner seat tube, much thinner seat post, and you can also tune it with just one turn, 90 degree turn, and your bike is ready to ride. Excellent, and we don't have a women's frame here today, but can you tell me about some of the things that the women can be looking for in the BMC bike line? Yeah, we've, uh, we've made a bike with a similar concept to this, which is uh, lightweight, uh, rigid in terms of power transfer, but very comfortable. Uh, we've adjusted the geometry a little bit to fit the, the, the build of, of your average woman of different heights and different uh, body types. Uh, as far as the, the performance quality, it's still full BMC, it's still a full-on race-worthy bike. And uh, those are going to come into the States at the end of April, early May. I'm so anxious for that to happen. I can't wait to ride one. I know that one thing about BMC bikes is the geometry, the way they measure size for the bikes is a little different than yes. what most of us might be familiar with. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about that? Well, yes. Uh, it tends to throw people off a little bit. For instance, in, in my particular case, uh, I ride, let's say, a 58 and many other manufacturers. But when I came over to BMC and I was told I would ride a 55, I thought, well, wait a minute here. So our bikes tend to run a little large. It's a racing heritage. We tend to have a very long top tube, a very aggressive geometry to them. Uh, so when you're getting size for a BMC, we definitely don't recommend that you go by the, the size that you're, you're used to. Get on the bike, see how it fits you, and have one of our, our certified retailers help you with the, with the sizing. That's good advice. Well, thank you very much, Fabio. I thank hope you. you have a great day. Great seeing you again. Thank, thank you. you very much. And this is Jen Moore from Sea Otter Classic, BellaReviews.com. 
slowly walking in the direction of bikes that in particularly interest some of our people here. <laughs> That's okay. Here we go, Jeff. I have no idea what to say Where's about this Fabio? prod. Fabio, can we hold? Sorry about that. I didn't see the. You want me to talk about the giant mountain bike now? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here we are at taking a look at the BMC. Um, I don't know what to say about this bike. The, the, it's the not my trail fox. Trail fox. Sorry, I'm oh, a road oh. bike rider. <laughs> here we are at the BMC Trail Fox. Fabio, tell us a little bit about this bike. Yeah, this is a great bike. It's a 140 millimeter travel front and rear has the advanced pivot system. The uh, nice thing about that is that it, it all virtually eliminates pedal bob. Uh, it does not affect the suspension when you're hitting the brakes on a downhill. Uh, and it's uh, very efficient. Also, not only does it have um, the actual design of the bike that, that helps keep it very efficient, but we also use a specially tuned uh, Fox shock that they tune the valving specifically for our geometry and for our bikes and the way we want them to handle. Uh, it's a full hydroformed aluminum frame. You can see again, typical to BMC, very, very wide diameter down tube, seat tube, flares out as wide as the bottom bracket shell does, increases power transfer, doesn't provide any harshness to the ride at all. And uh, it's overall a really comfortable, fast bike, 140 mil travel. The cool thing we do with all BMC mountain bikes, we, we take the bottom bracket shell, we cut it in half, we open it, we machine out all the excess material that is not needed inside the bottom bracket shell, weld it back together, and then we assemble it on the frame. So everything is as lightweight as possible, just almost incredible attention to detail and, and Swiss engineering behind everything we put out. That's fascinating, and how is the how are the reviews going on this bike? Phenomenal. Uh, we've had a couple magazines review this bike, and uh, one editor actually bought one. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> It seems so to be the way to go. It. it is the way to go. When a magazine editor buys your bike, you know you've got a good product. That's right. So we're very excited about that. Very nice. I think Jeff and Al would like to get their leg over this bike sometime soon. And thank you, Fabio. Thank you very much. And this is Jen Moore from VeloReviews.com. Have a great day.